Starting off my morning right with some black tea. Welcome everyone, one and all, to my growing community. Thank you all for the support. I am actually playing a game not as profit for once. A very fun, a well fought game, a 1v1 on the release versus my good friend Khrushchev. I get the second best leader in the game, Sergeant Forge and he is playing as Captain Cutter. So starting out, building some Warthogs for some early aggression and also contesting the supply crates. I don't want him to have those because those are, those are all mine. So we are battling it out, running into each other for the, for the crates. I think each crate is like 30 supplies, but it's, it's crazy how how uh, crippled you can be if you don't micromanage these crates. You you will just won't have a lot of money for like extra warthogs or getting upgrades. So um, yeah, I'm making that a priority. Building hogs is essential in one v ones. I'm gonna get three. I think I'm gonna go five hogs into gunner here. I'm gonna get my third supply pad up and my fourth warthog built. So just looking around for those for those nice crates got those flame decals on there if you didn't know if you are on the definitive edition in steam or xbox in your settings underneath visuals there is an option to enable unique paint jobs so that will put flames on your warthog and it will also put the uh, the decals on the wraiths, the wraiths, the they're called the honor guard wraiths. So, pretty cool, little uh, lesser known fact. And I also, I, I just noticed this. I should have turned my my hit bars always on, back on. Oh, that's not good. He found warthog. I'm down a hog. Not good at all. So right now, if we were both on par with one another, he would have more warthogs with me. More, more Warthogs than I, so that means he would win in an open engagement. So I don't even have Gunner yet, so I want to hide these Warthogs. I don't want them to die, because that's a very quick way for this game to end fast. Uh, but what I was saying, with the, the hit bars always on, you can uh, constantly see the health of all of your units and buildings without having to hover over them or them shoot or be under attack. And it helps me micro better. You can see who's weakest and versus the enemy too, who has the weaker units. So I'm getting Gunner. I'm coming up here to clear out this expo. This is how you do it right here. Once you get Gunner, oh, where am I going? Oh, I forgot about those little things, the little, uh, the little tentacles up there. You can capture those and release the flood on your enemy. It's a uh, really not not very uh, used strategy because they kind of suck. So, waiting for Gunner, and once Gunner is researched, I'm gonna start firing on this base on release. See those little tentacles there? Uh, they can't hit you if you're on this side of the flood thingy. Hive, is that called? I don't know, but I'm going for Fortress at the same time. I'm gonna try to get into tanks as early as possible. My uh, my UNSC build is kind of sloppy, as you as you know. I'm I'm uh, a profit main now, as the the random the random all has made me. So I, I haven't played UNSC very often in one v ones, especially. Uh, one of my warhogs wasn't shooting there, which is not good. It's just taking longer than it should. I should have put him around the other side to speed it up a little bit. But I'm taking out these guys here. And I believe I got my second reactor up as well. So there's that. Oh no, I remember what my plan was. I was gonna go uh, Goss Hogs. I was gonna try to early Goss aggression on uh, Khrushchev. Seeing as Forge has the upgraded pads, I was going to just run in there and try, or yeah, just try and rush Goss. But here we go, we got into an engagement. I got a quick kill off on one of his hogs. Now I have the lead, and then I sniped on that other one, so I'm looking pretty good here. I took the hog lead over, and I'm going to 
rush up to his expo here and try and deny it if I can. Ah, I've been drinking a lot of black tea lately. It's been uh, it's been pretty tasty. I'm gonna try some green tea, but we've got a reactor coming up first on the expo as well as it's it's not very well built so i'm gonna try and fight these hogs and do some base damage so i'm gonna rally all my hogs over there grenadier is almost up i've got five hogs out so i'm feeling pretty good about it I'm feeling pretty good about this engagement there is a vehicle depot so this is his second reactor he is going straight into tanks uh, my grenadier is coming up soon uh, i definitely want to start fighting these warthogs because now he's on a double pump where I'm just on a one single pump. So that's going to beat me out eventually. So that's why I want to do this early early base damage as soon as I can. That's that's my, uh, <clears throat> what's the word? That's my time to shine. So I abandoned the idea to go into Goss Hogs because he already has a depot up, I'm assuming, at his main base as well as a, a uh, double pump, so I can't really keep up with this fight. I'm gonna drop a carpet bomb. Not the not the best uh, idea, but hey, it sounded cool in the time, and I just went with it. But I'm going to kinda, I'm just gonna tend to die. That was a really a bad push. I didn't uh, do, do what I was uh, attempting to, so whoopsies, right? Live and you learn. At least I uh, showed him, right? I carpet bombed that building, uh, building vehicle depot. So I'm assuming he has a depot up. Yep, he's gonna get tanks out. I've got my first tank building. He's building turrets. So Warhog Rush is essentially dead and buried. Not, uh, not happening. So I'm going to return home. Oh, I forgot a tentacle, and I want to clear out this expo so I can get a base going. He does have a pretty good lead on me right now, having another base and having his tanks. He, he can potentially have a double tank of tanks right now. So I'm gonna play very safe, very defensively, and just, you know, try to try to hang on by the, the skin of my teeth, you know, by the, by like, a, as I like to say, by a, a pube hair, hanging on by a pube right now. Scorps coming out, rallying him over here, and Tentacle is still alive, one star Tentacle, Veteranized Tentacle, it just sounds kind of weird, Veteranized Tentacle, he's seen some stuff, he's been through combat before, so there's that, Firebait's going up, get the money. And yeah, so just sitting sitting pretty. There's not too much I can do. I can't afford to push right now. So I'm just kind of banking on the fact that he won't do any early aggression on me. Uh, I think that he is definitely have, has more numbers than me, maybe two to three tanks right now. I just have my second. There he is. He's coming to see what's going on. He sees the base and is kind of just Putsying around over there. Warthog assisting him. So the base is going to go up and I'm gonna get some buildings up on it. Really want the health to go up. This is where I'm the most weak. Send that scout up too. It's always a good idea. Even if your Warthog dies, build, just build another one. Just see what's going on. Go and explore the uh, opponent's bases. So I was actually wrong. I thought he had two depots up in the beginning. He had he, he opted to go all supplies on his main. Uh, no upgraded pads as well, which is good. So I'm uh, maintaining the eco lead as long as I can out macro him, get my buildings up. And yeah, getting up, second depot. Tanks are just chilling, chilling like villains. Third tank out. We've got a double depot coming up. So he was actually on one depot from what I could see. One depot, multiple tanks, and some hogs left. He does have the base lead on me, but I think that, that uh, what's the word? That lead is closing ever so slowly with 
every passing minute. I think the early game was probably the best chance to push up on this expo and deal some deal some good damage. How y'all doing? How's Quick shout out to all of my more recent subscribers, all of you guys who have been commenting on the last vids in the hunt for the truth for the, if you haven't seen it yet, you gotta check out the uh, the truth about the Cobra video that I made. It's very, um, it's just shocking to say the least what they've been you know keeping from the public about this game. So yeah, I, I uh, I was, yeah, I was devastated. Definitely devastated. Uh, other than that, quick shout outs here. Let me find some names. Let me find some people to give a quick shout out. Khrushchev, for sure. Let's see who else was recently commenting. I haven't seen Shadow in a minute. I don't know what you're up, up to, bro, but good on ya. Diet Water, Diet Water, thank you so much for watching. Mac, appreciate ya. Uh, Socratic Atheist, very long subscriber. He's been with us for close to a year now. Tiny Shoe, I think is his gamer tag. Tiny Shoe, I did, I remember playing with you. Good games the other day as well. So, uh, getting up my canister shell reactor and going for canister shell, still maintaining that strong defense. That's really all I can do at this point. I want to get my army stronger, more fit, more ripped as it were muscular buff so canister shell reactor coming up getting my tanks up just playing a good defense that's really yeah like i've been saying three or four times all i can do he's pushing up right now he does have some spartans in his tanks he does not have canister shell from what i can see so uh no canister shell but he does have a good amount of tanks with spartans in them and they do beat my they beat my tanks i'm moving more on the side there to let him get the first shot off on the um, on the buildings, I have the defender's advantage right now. Where his his units are not all focus firing on mine. Some of them are shooting at the base, so that's just extra damage that he's not doing. He's got a reinforcement tank coming through with so we got a total of five v five, but two Spartan tanks. So his army does beat mine, but my canister shell is researching ever so slowly. He is, he doesn't want to lose too much. He understands the defender's advantage and just uh, cuts his losses, pulls out. He does drop down a, a pad and he, he saves the, uh, <clears throat> saves all his tanks, doesn't lose any tanks, so good on him. Instead of rebuilding that pad, what I'm going to do instead, save up for my fourth reactor. I'm gonna go straight into power turret. Canister shell just finished. Reactor number four coming up. Going for the power turret forge. 1v1s. I know people dog on him a lot just because of the whole grizzly situation. But you can't underestimate the power of that early economy. With the heavy supply pads, it makes him a force to be reckoned with. He, he, he does get hard countered by Anders as well as... Pretty much everybody else no not not everybody he does he does very well against covenant and cutter is a, i'd say a pretty even matchup for him but anders he just gets smoked because of the uh the gremlins so i am pushing i got a quick canister shell off i don't think i killed that tank i, I was kind of looking at my my glass of tea i don't see i don't think i did get it but i, I think i lose a tank there too my warthog's still alive no, I remade that Warthog for scouting purposes. Power turret coming up. I'm going to pull back. Wait for the moment to strike. We're almost ready. He's going to push in and try to get something going. So I'm going to destroy that reactor as well as queue up another tank. Use the money from that to queue up another tank. I'm at four tanks. I believe he has six right now. So not looking too hot. This... This is the pinnacle moment of the game for me if i lose that vehicle depot it's all over because i will lose my i already deleted my canister shell or my power turret reactor i do not want him to notice that back there i think he 
uh, just wanted to just do some damage and uh, was targeting down some of the other other buildings. I'm gonna drop a cheeky carpet bomb, which did again distract him. Well, he wanted to keep his units alive rather than go for that depot. I don't think he even noticed it there. So power turret is almost looking good. I'm gonna micro that away and give it a nice heal. There's a cobra. He has patented the cobra strategy on a lot of these uh, games I play with him. He's always making cobras. I love it. It's a great strategy. I wish I saw more. Um, so I was kind of worried at this point. I had nothing left. We had Cobras pulling up, but he leaves them open at that point. I don't think he has upgrades on them. So I'm going to just push in on these Cobras, try and kill them because they are definitely, I, I can't, I can't have Cobras in front of my base. It's just going to destroy me. So focus firing down on these Cobras as well as avoiding the Spartan tanks. They are still on canister shell though. I did beat him to power turret. And I'm um, gonna just keep making tanks, reinforcement tanks. Two black bar tanks. One, they're both gonna go down. The Cobra is gonna go down, and I'm gonna barely, barely survive this engagement. Very close. I was uh, shitting my britches and uh, sweating profusely. Not really, but um, you get the idea. It was, a, it was a fun game. We were in the Discord chat. That's what that's what keeps messing up the audio. I uh, apologize again for the audio not being the game audio. Having some computer errors. I'm a I'm a boomer. Not really. I'm a boomer when it comes to like recording and technology. I can't figure it out yet, but I will. I will very soon. We will get back to our regularly regularly scheduled audio. <laughs> So I'm going to take this opportunity, push in. His army is gone. Mine is reinforcing. He... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Man, I chugged that tea too fast. Be careful. So I'm pushing in. I'm going to try and put some early aggression on his base here. He does have power turret now. So I'm going to engage in the tank micro battles try to destroy him destroy all all of his units and win the game power turret tanks are this is kind of what the meta evolves into when you're unsc v unsc this is the late game in a nutshell pretty much whoever has the better uh tank play so building up another pad there going to run away run away to his main base just Go away from him because I can't fight those. I cannot fight those Spartan power turret tanks right now. I can fight these pads though, while my other units show up. So, uh, just gonna get away, do some damage, be annoying, kind of harass him a little bit. He only has two though, and I have four tanks. So, one thing about the Spartans is, even if you have a lot of say uh, power turret tanks, or well, hold on, let me back up a second. If you have Spartan tanks, three or four power turret is still going to win, you know, and it's going to win pretty, pretty easily just because of the damage output that they do in in the overall health of all three of those units. So um, Spartans are definitely good. I think you should prioritize making tanks first, in my opinion. I'm not saying that this was wrong here, but um, just in general, like if you're ever doing like a one v one. Spartans should be in the mid medium priority range. I'm gonna get these out of there. I don't wanna lose all of these. I wanna maintain my numbers as best I can. I'm going, to, uh, I'm going to heal these up, try and get some, get some good uh, doctrine done on those tanks while the Scorpions are being reinforced through the middle. They're working pretty fast, actually. I probably shouldn't have rallied all the way over there in front of his base. It's a good way to to lose the lead is if a tank is just caught out in the open. So things are looking up. I'm getting my tanks healed. I haven't lost them yet. And I've got more on the way. I'm pretty close to max population also. Just one away, I'm pretty sure. But the other two are building. So he's coming in here. Um, I've got two more tanks rallying behind him. 
a very nice sandwich occurs, a Khrushchev sandwich, and his green tanks are caught, and uh, he loses pretty much most of those tanks there. I don't think he, I think he starts to run away. Yeah, so that's going down. The other tanks are just, uh, this just a, a bloodbath. So the Spartan's also gonna die. I don't wanna get hijacked. I have, I have lost some tanks to that. That's never fun. That could turn the tide right there if you get an extra Spartan tank. So I would lose a tank. He would gain a tank with Spartan veterancy. It's just, just not, not good. Uh, he has some reinforcements coming in. I believe they're both reinforcing from that other base though as well. So there, his expo is the only place he has uh, vehicle depots on, which is not not bad thing. Uh, I've got one on my main and one on my one on my expo. So I think it's two depot, two depot. That one is going away. I'm gonna get that uh, that tank out of there. It's very weak, and I'm just gonna have it stay out of the fight for now while I'm chasing down this one. Uh, scorpion tank that one's gonna die and pads going down there's another reinforcement tank so you can see what I mean it's just a lot of tank play tank micro just notice what I'm doing I'm taking my my weak tanks and I'm pulling them back so the the healthier tanks can start fighting and then I'm gonna drop some heals onto the units that uh, are not in the fight try and keep them alive but oh, didn't work out he had a reinforcement tank come up through there uh, all the tanks, I'm, I'm definitely I'm taking the lead at this point in the tank wars. Uh, he realizes that he's going to uh, tap out very soon. I just want to thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate y'all. Um, stay tuned for some more vids. I'm working on another big Halo Wars project to be, uh, to be announced. It'll be dropping probably, ooh, I don't know, like I'm say a month's time give me enough time to work on it putting a lot of a lot of thought into it but thank you again and stay tuned this is your boy turnip peace